Hi, today I'll explain the details surrounding our Duo Ethnography project and presentation. This project has four key parts. First, you'll be paired with one of your peers and you'll conduct at least three 30-minute interviews with your partner. Your partner will conduct three 30-minute interviews with you too. So that's six interviews between you and your partner. The interviews will be surrounding your subjectivity bag portrait. You will explore the narratives that lie behind what's on the front and back of the bag and what's inside the bag. You would be responsible for carrying on an ongoing weekly conversation with your co-researcher. These conversations do not have to be long and can range anywhere between 20 minutes to 60 minutes. You might want to use the first one or two conversations as rapport building conversations before you start recording the conversations for your interviews. Then you would be responsible for recording the conversations, transcribing them, and then conducting a preliminary analysis. You will be guided throughout the class during this process, and you're encouraged to raise questions about this process while in class. At the very least, you need a total of 90 minutes of recorded conversation for the whole semester per person. You can have more than 90 minutes if you like, but for you to get any meaningful impression, 90 minutes will be the bare minimum using multiple interview techniques. We'll discuss these techniques further in class. This project is called Duo Ethnography because it is a shared collaborative project where two participants engage with each other about their shared experiences that brought them in their current moment in academia, where they are pursuing a graduate education with the goal to complete research project in mind. As you conduct interviews, transcribe them as soon as possible, which brings us to the second part of the assignment. Once your interviews are transcribed, I will guide you to conduct an arts-based and a traditional form of data analysis. The third part of the project involves you preparing a five to seven minute video recorded presentation describing how you analyze the data and key findings from your data analysis about your partner and a recursive exploration of your experiences. Recursive exploration of your experiences involve reflecting on how hearing someone else's stories inform your own stories and allow you to hear the other person's stories differently in a cyclical relationship. The fourth part of the project involves submitting a paper, detailing the project, your data collection and data analysis strategies, and your recursive reflections. As usual, there will be sample papers and presentations from previous semesters, but do not be limited in your thinking by copying what others have done before you. Be creative, find a way to do justice to your participants' stories. One word of caution, I'm going to discourage you from using PowerPoint as your presentation medium, since it's really boring with slides with bullet points and they're not very engaging. So when you consider your presentation, think creatively. If you want to use a presentation medium, go beyond Prezi and PowerPoint. And if you must use them, then use them creatively by utilizing the fact that they are visual mediums. There are rubrics associated with the presentation and the paper portion of this project. I encourage you to make yourself familiar with the rubrics and ask questions well in advance. Also, I encourage you to read the syllabus closely as this project is explained in details in the syllabus. Don't worry if this project seems a bit overwhelming at first. We will work on it piece by piece just to make sure you're prepared as we move through the semester. Good luck, and I'm looking forward to your presentations and your papers.